One of the bigger drawbacks of using a miter saw is the large opening through the fence around the blade and how it makes it difficult to cut small pieces accurately and safely. To deal with this, the normal approach is to make a secondary fence that sits on the saw and creates a zero clearance slot for the blade. I've been meaning to make one for a while and since I have a project coming up that would really benefit from having the fence, I decided now was the time to make it. It was designed to work with my miter saw station and details on that build are in the video description. To start, I'm cutting the plywood for the base to 7 inches wide. Then the strip of the fence is cut to 4 inches. I made this match the maximum cutting depth of my saw. With the strips cut, I can join them together with glue and some 2 inch brads. I need to carefully lay out where the saw blade will cut so I don't hit any of these nails. To reinforce the joint and clamp it until the glue dries, I'm drilling pilot holes and driving 1.5 inch screws. I'm using half inch dowels to keep the fence in place and make it quick and easy to put it on and take it off. Half inch holes are drilled through to the outfeed table below to receive the dowels. Next I can reset the saw to 45 degrees and reposition the fence and clamp it down again. More holes are drilled in the support table for this new position. I can then swing the saw over to 45 degrees on the left side, put the fence back, clamp it down again and drill the holes. The left side 45 degree cut is next, but I guess I wasn't careful enough with the screw placement. Just a nick and no real damage to the blade. Now I can bring it back to 90 degrees, line it up and clamp it down again to cut the dowels. A slight chamfer helps guide them into the holes. All I need is a little glue at the top of the dowels to hold them in. And with the dowels in place, it's finished and ready to use. When I don't need it, it can be removed quickly and put aside. For more detail on this project and many others, visit my website, ibuildit.ca.